Hello and welcome to Ayrshire College Air Campus. My name is Jared and I'm an ex-student in performing arts. And I'm Georgia and I'm also an ex-student in performing arts. And we are here to show you a boot. Come on in. is our Riverside building. Over here, as you can see, we've got our coffee shop and we've got some of our classrooms up here. So how about we go and show you some of them? So this is our training salon, which is situated on the third floor of the building. Fancy getting your hair done or your nails done, feel free to book yourself an appointment. And you can also book yourself in for a massage and there is also male grooming treatments available at very competitive prices. And if you've got any friends and family, then, then feel free to bring them along as well to the public. This is our theatre space, so look out for any posters around the college and pop along and see one of the shows in here. Next door, we also have the dance studio. And also on this floor, we've also got our media department, we've got our art department, and downstairs we've also got our photography department as well. So that's it for the Riverside building. We've got two more buildings on campus, and the first one we're going to show you is the aerospace building. This is our aeronautical building and it's amazing, I was here for three years, year later, and this is my first time in this building and we've got some really cool stuff. There is some really cool stuff in here. Like a cockpit for an actual plane. A, a, a flight simulator, like a genuine full size A big flight. massive screen. Flight simulator? Yeah. Anyway, our next building is the Dam Park building. This is our Dam Park building where you'll find most of our student support services and through here is our student association. Let's go pop by. So this is Jack, he's our student president and he's going to tell us a wee bit about um, student association. Hi everybody, so it's hard to sum up what the student association does but in general, we um, try and improve the student experience and we represent um, the students in meetings. So if you've uh, got any queries or questions, just come out in our office and we're always open for a chat or a coffee or a tea. Thank you. Cheers, Jack. Uh, let's go have a wee look at student services and student funding. So this is student services. In here you'll find most of the support um, from student services and also for student funding. And what goes on in here is a, is a whole team working together to help you out. So if you've got any questions, any concerns, if you're feeling unsettled in your course, or just questions in general, I suppose, come along and pop in and we'll be sure to help you out. If you're not comfortable coming in person, then drop them an email or give them a call. Also, they can help you out with any CVs, any UCAS applications, and also interviews. Again, feel free to book an appointment or send an email. Also, with student fund funding, it's really, really important that you keep your details up to date. So any phone numbers, any addresses, otherwise they can't give you the information that you need. Also, online, they've got some golden rules that you should follow, so go check that out. And now, I think we should go over to the LRC. Let's go to the LRC. See you there. So this is the Learning Resource Centre, the LRC, and I'm, I'm trying to talk a bit more quieter in this one because there's, um, there's people around that are studying, just being respectful of that. It's not a library, so you can talk, but just remember just to be a bit, a bit more respectful uh, with the noise level. Um, you can see behind me there's a presentation board that's free to use, just to book out, so if you've got a PowerPoint to do for one of your assessments, then feel free just to book that out and to practice there, I suppose. Um, yeah, there's also computers available as well, so you'll need your student ID number, which will be on the card that you've, you've got, and your, your password that you'll set up with the guys at the desk. Um, there's also laptops and ebooks available. How you get that is you just hand your student card over, and they'll hand you the laptop, and to get your student card back, you hand the laptop back in, and they give you it back. Um, so there's also printers, and um, yeah, they give you a budget, a, a money budget for printers um, per annum, yearly. So. Uh, once that's gone, you can talk about it. And over here is inclusive learning. If you feel like you need any additional support in terms of learning, feel free to come in here and give these guys a little call. Um, be able to book an appointment. 
and make sure you do it as soon as possible just because there's lots of people coming in but they've got lovely smiley faces and they'll be willing to help you out. So this is the refectory, the canteen, and this is where you might spend most of your lunch times. There's always a wide selection of hot foods available, and there's always a wide selection of cold foods available, sandwiches and subs, etc., as well as some cold drinks and some crisps and sweeties and fruit as well. Uh, here is your coffee machines, and there's also, just to mention, um, usually they're usually quite good in here with vegan dietary requirements and vegetarian as well. So you'll see in the, in the, when you first come in on the screen, it'll tell you what's available um, for today's lunch and stuff. So, Let's go and um, take a wee walk elsewhere. So in each of our campuses we have brand new NHS iPads, um, which we have in partnership with NHS 24. So if you have any queries, feel free to check out our new iPads. And if you have any problems and you don't know how to work it, feel free to contact the student services and they'll be able to help you out with anything. As well as that, we've also got our three liaisons. We've got our police officer, we've got our drugs and alcohol abuse support and our mental health awareness um, officer that can help you out with anything that you've got on at home or just anything you have any queries about, feel free to talk to our liaisons in the colleges. Yeah, just to pick up on what um, you are saying about mental health for college, I find personally are very, very, very openly trying to do as much as they can to support mental health in the college and, and as the campaign um, don't go, let us know, which openly encourages you if you have an issue on your course to come and talk to someone because Although that problem could be affecting you, it could be affecting your classmates, it could also be fixed really, really easily, and that's something that the college, are, I, I think, personally do, do very, very well, is, is support mental Definitely. health. Definitely. Don't suffer in silence. Please let someone know, because like Jared said, it could easily be fixed. So now we're just going to head outside. So we are now outside the car park of the college buildings and we need to talk about something quite serious here um, which is the car parking issue, car parking gate as it's known in the Ayrshire College. Um, spaces fill up very very quickly in the morning so if you're not here by half past eight the chances are you probably won't get a space. It's unfortunate I know, however there are also other parking spaces available or car parks available for example directly across. Um, the river here you'll find the paying park which again you need to pay for it but um, it saves you parking for example in content avenue where we've had quite a, quite a few issues of people blocking the residents into their homes and then the residents can't get out to the work in the mornings and it just um just mind and be respectful to, to our neighbours as well so now we're going to take a wee walk down past the river here and we're going to walk to the university of west of scotland Believe it or not, the walk from here to UWS is only a five minute walk and Ayrshire College and UWS have a partnership with one another so now that you're a student you can get access to the gym and isn't this walk a part of... Yeah, it's the Daily Mile, the Daily Mile initiative um, which the, the College call started which means that in every campus there's a designated route of a mile that you can choose to follow to speak to your health and wellbeing team and then you can, you can partake in that. Speaking of health, each Col Ayrshire College campus is a smoke-free campus, so get in touch with someone to find out whereabouts within the college you can smoke. Um, apart from that... Yeah, I guess I'd just like to say uh, welcome and thank you for deciding, deciding to, to study, study uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, <laughs> on the back of myself, my time at the Ayrshire College, I've been fortunate enough to now form my own theatre company, Ellipsis Theatre, and that's through the the, um, the motivation that I've, I've felt and the, the encouragement from the college, and Georgia is now a part of that, and directing her own show um, very, very soon. And you're also going to the Edinburgh Fridge Festival to perform in a show, which is fantastic. And it just goes to show, if you work really, really hard at whatever you're studying, who knows where you're at, you, you'll end up, which is fantastic. So work hard and you'll do great. That's all you need to know. And now you know it. Bye.